Yo guys, Disney sucks. Let's just admit it. I don't know how many of you know the term culture vulture, but that is basically an exact definition of what Disney is now. They see things that are successful and popular and then just buy that thing so they can make all the money from it. They also destroy the quality of that thing in the process. But today we're not talking about Disney. No, today they're talking about their almost cult-like adult fan base. Uh, I don't like saying adult fan base. That shit makes this sound dirty. Uh, I promise it's not. It's just really, really corny. But yeah, in the last video I talked about fanboys, so I was like, why don't I do something kind of related to it? People who are exactly fanboys, but are still pretty close on that consumer bootlicker spectrum. So I did something unheard of in the history of this channel, and I researched the topic of this video. And yeah, I, I still don't really get it. Maybe it's because I never had a super crazy attachment to Disney growing up. Like I watched Disney Channel and stuff, but I never went to the parks or really ever watched the movies. So maybe it's that, but I don't know. This is something I just can't see someone not outgrowing, right? Like liking Disney as an adult and being a Disney adult are completely separate things. And being a Disney adult is just so overboard in terms of action. I, I don't see how these people do it. I was actually stumped. Like the first article I read, skimmed. In the first paragraph, they were already talking about one who had broke down crying at Disneyland when they met Goofy. Like this, and I shit you not, is Family Guy level behavior. <laughs> there is a whole ass cutaway exactly like this where Peter meets Blueberry. The world is not real. I, I should not be able to compare these things and have that comparison be accurate. I think what has confused me the most about these people is just how big of a group they are, or at least seem to be. Like they may be hated online and real life as well I'm assuming, but in terms of sheer numbers, these people have money guys. On the low, I do keep up with some of Disney's products from time to time, like their cruises or hotels and stuff, just to see really what the hype's about, and you would not believe how many things at these places have like luxury editions of them now. Everything at a Disney resort now for some reason just has like a $5,000 bonus tier to it because these people will buy it. It's insane. Something else I noticed in my research besides the fact that this video isn't original at all was that for some reason these people are oddly defensive. I mean, that's the vibe I got off the article I read. It was so strange. They went into full like intellectual, and racial background and shit. Like there's a whole passage in here about a study they did into the demographics of these people. And like I said before, it just came across as like, I don't know, bragging about your life because somebody made fun of you, like that kind of thing. You know, it was like, most Disney adults have a college degree. Most of them are married. They all make $100,000 a year. That last one was a joke, but you know, like I wouldn't be surprised if that was in there. That's how deep they were going into that. And to me, it just didn't seem very necessary at all. To an extent though, I kind of get it. You know, these news sites don't let their writers just make articles bullying people, unlike YouTube. <laughs> but at the same time, none of these articles really felt neutral to me. You know, they seemed way too focused on not making fun of Disney adults instead of making an informative article. So I decided to keep digging. The article mentioned the popularity of Disney adults on TikTok, so I decided to look there, and man, did we strike gold. Okay, so these were the ones I found first, and I will admit, the first one, I'm cool with. Architecture is cool, and seeing a cool ass building for the first time, yeah, I kind of get the reaction a little bit. It wouldn't be me, but I'm not surprised by it a whole lot. The second one though, like, yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> it's the same castle, nothing happened to it. Its fate wasn't in jeopardy, nah, you just, didn't get to go there for like a year. Like, maybe I'm tripping, but I don't remember people breaking down crying when the fucking McDonald's playroom opened back up, you know? I don't know, maybe they were though. Then I popped over to Instagram and it got even worse. Check out this one. Should we buy a genie pass? Because time is money, and if we save time, we're gonna save money. So that's it. Yeah. 
Ooh, it's getting a little cold. Should I buy a sweater? Yeah, you should because then you're gonna get sick and that's not good for you. You're right. Let's go. You gotta pay for it, girl. <laughs> if I order the cookies and you get the Dole Whip, it's pretty much free. So let's just do it. Okay. You use your pass, it's on sale, and then you're saving money. If we get the popcorn bucket, it feels like cheaper, so it means we're gonna be saving money. So we should get the popcorn. You bring the magic home. You don't have to come to Disney, you're gonna save money. I don't know if I should buy it because I'm not supposed to be mad at me. But he's already gonna be mad, so let's just do it. Man, I need money. Like, obviously, that wasn't 100% serious, but some people do operate like this, and I. I just wish I could relate. <laughs> I don't even like pay for TV shows. How the hell am I gonna buy a $50 plushie? All right, let's look at another one. Uh, top places to shit at Disney. Hey, maybe they're not that bad, bro. But on a real note, I kind of feel bad. Like the whole time I was writing this or watching the videos of these people, I couldn't help but notice how damn negative it is to go after these people. It's cringy, yeah, but so is being the fun police, and that's damn near what this entire video has been. So I decided to put myself in their shoes. Since a lot of these people like Disney because of nostalgia, I decided to pick something that I have a lot of nostalgia for, and for me, that thing without a shadow of a doubt is Legos. In fact, check this out. The other day, I found this picture on like an old phone. Look at this. Look at that. <laughs> I had all the Bioticals and they were swagged out. I, I might have been him. But yeah, Legos were a huge part of my childhood. And as you can see back there, they still kind of are. I get them every now and then. But for the most part, I've lost touch with them. So for the video and totally not myself, I decided to try to reconnect with my roots and understand Disney adults by becoming a Lego adult. So I bought a Lego set. What, you, you thought I was gonna go to Legoland? You think I got the budget for that? But yeah, nah, it was, it was all right. Part of the reason why you'd buy these past a certain age is for the building process. And yeah, it was pretty chill. I was vibing with it. Um, now that I think of it, actually, I don't really know why I'm explaining the process of building a Lego set. I think everyone under 80 has done that. But you know what I mean, it's something you could work at for like an hour or two and you know, just turn your brain off. I like turned on some music, watched a TV show. It was very casual and I like casual stuff. But in conclusion, it was just all right. Did I understand why these people like to revisit their childhood? Yes. Did I understand why these people centered their life around it? Hell nah! I can easily live without Lego. You know, like, that's the thing I will never get with Disney adults. These people treat Disney like it's fucking water. They watch the shows, they go to the park, they go on the cruise, they get buried in the cemetery. It makes no sense to me how, one, these people aren't sick of Disney yet, but also, two, why the hell you'd want to go to Disney so much anyway? Like, that place is so expensive. And these people do it multiple times a year. Like, they always talk about the magic, you know, the wonder and beauty at Disney. But after going there like five times in six months, I feel like I'd be pretty damn tired of the magic, you know? You're essentially paying 5k to walk around in even more crowded Six Flags. Anyway, that's it. Um, subscribe for more hating. See y'all.